Hello and welcome back. So this routine is focused on, first of all, hi, I'm Caitlin Spano. I am your pre and postnatal educator. I am certified in Pilates, pre and postnatal Pilates. I love helping you move. I love helping you prepare your body for pregnancy, for labor, for birth, for motherhood. Okay, so that's what I am all about. Um, in this video, you're going to understand, I'm going to walk you through a few moves so you understand exactly how to engage your muscles um, in these specific core and pelvic floor movements to prepare for, to lessen pain during pregnancy, to prepare your body for that um, labor and birth, the most demanding part of our pregnancy journey, right? Um, so stay tuned for that so you know exactly how to engage your muscles and prepare your body. Um, if you don't already, make sure you head on. I'll post these links below. You can grab your journal. I have a pregnancy and a postpartum one. Um, I also have a book to, that will be launching in about a month. So make sure you subscribe to my list so you know exactly um, when that launches so you can get your hands on it. Um, I'm going to be walking you through some of the moves that are in the prenatal journal. So I literally walk you through exactly um, a routine that you can add into your day. Very doable. I share, I have visuals here, so I walk you through that. Um, anyway, so make sure you grab that. Um, this is designed for pregnancy, any stage of pregnancy, first, second, third trimesters. It's also available for my postpartum moms, those of you who might be suffering from diastasis. This is going to work for you, okay? Um, if you are a beginner, <laughs> don't add any weights, but if you feel that you wanna add some hand weights, um, or ankle weights to these moves. If you've done this video several times, you're like, okay, I'm ready to take it up a notch, which ideally I want you to do. Repetition is key. Um, Bala is having a sale on their bangles right now. 30% off, guys. I have one pound, and I also just bought myself a new set. Two pounds, and I love them. They work so well. Um, so let's get to it, shall we? So I just want you... <coughs> First of all, understanding your breath is really important. Um, understanding all of the parts that make up your core, okay? So my goal for coming into this new year is to do little shorter workouts for you, but I want to walk you through exactly how to engage your body in the move, as if I was sitting in the room with you, okay? That is my goal because that, that's, that's the lack. Okay, there's a lot of pregnancy and postpartum options out there for you, which is wonderful. But what is the biggest missing link for all of us and for you, the mom who's trying to prepare your body and understand your body and reduce pain and recover faster is the how. Like, how exactly am I supposed to engage my muscles in that move, right? Okay, so the first move we're going to start with is... <coughs> And that's why this is great and my book coming out is because it'll literally give you the visuals, okay? I just think having the visuals, reading it, and then doing it is like key, right? And that's where my educator sense comes in. So the first one we're going to do is we're literally going to be on our hands and knees, okay? And we're just going to be engaging our deep core and our pelvic floor and then releasing. So <clears throat> one way to, to really make sure that you are engaging correctly okay in this move number one you don't want to be sitting here okay you're going to take your your um your shoulders out of your ears so you're going to pop them down you're not going to hyper extend your elbows you want a slight bend in them you want your knees at 90 degrees and then you want to pick up your back so your pelvis here is kind of in neutral and if you have a belly here that might feel like, oh my gosh, I'm pushing out too far, right? Because you, you might be stuck here. Just push it out so it's feeling flat, okay? And you can have like a cup on it and then putting your the rest of your upper back flat like this, okay? So you're literally going to inhale through the rib cage. You're going to expand laterally through the rib cage all the way around your back, okay? So inhaling and expanding down through your pelvic floor down through your belly all the way down and you're going to feel complete re relaxation okay on so you're going to inhale and do that inhaling and as you're inhaling you might arch a little bit just to kind of feel that movement feel that tilting okay so that's on the inhale on the exhale what you're going to do is you're going to visualize you have a zipper 
that's like literally right here at the top of your vagina, like where your uh, urethra is, your clitoris, whatever you want to call it. Um, you're going to pretend you literally have a zipper that's right there and you're zipping up all the way. So you're going to start at the bottom. So you can pretend you want to feel the lifting of your pelvic floor, but don't focus so much on that. If you focus on the engagement of your lower abs, so you want to be starting at the zip right here, closing those hip bones. Okay. So not pushing out, but if you focus on coming in right here, your pelvic floor is going to come up with it. Okay. It's going to follow. So you're going to start. So inhaling on that exhale, you're going to zip and you're going to close those hip bones. And then you're going to come up to your belly button and you're going to close again. And then you're going to close, exhaling, closing those rib cage, close, close, close. Right. And then you're going to inhale and you can let it all go again. Okay. So inhaling and then, so on the exhale, you're going to do that again, zipping up slowly, closing those rib cage, those hip bones, closing that middle, the middle of your stomach and then coming up and closing your rib cage and feeling that you should be feeling that deep transverse connection. Um, and do that and then you're going to inhale and release. Okay. So that's what I want you to do. Now you might not be going as fast as I am. You need to go at your own pace, but just visualize those things. So on the inhale, you're going to release everything. And then on the exhale, okay. And release starting with the hip bones. I want you to take two more here fully, fully releasing. Okay. Two more on that third one. I want you not to release all the way. So inhaling, keep it on the top. You're only going to expand your rib cage. You're going to keep that connection here, that nice tight connection. You're going to inhale through your rib cage and lateral expansion, keeping this tight, go up even tighter. Inhale through the rib cage, inhaling, keeping this tight and then going tighter. Yes. Do you feel that connection? Now you can release and let it all go. So do some more of those focus on like 10 a day, but already with those deep breaths, you should be feeling alive. Your body should be feeling awakened. You should be feeling some reduction of pain through your back. You should be feeling good. That is when you know you are breathing right. Um, so feel free to do more of those if you want to. I'm going to take you to the next little piece of a workout, which is very common for pregnancy is a side plank. <clears throat> So you're going to come here. Um, if you're more advanced, feel free to go up, but really, I really just want you to be on your knees. Um, because it doesn't matter how advanced you are. If you are here, you truly can connect. Okay. So being here now, first things first, your knees are above each other. You can line up your ankles. Okay. You're kind of at a 45 degree angle here. Um, your hips, you might be twisting. You want to lengthen. So your, your hips, are going to go your rib cage is stacked and then your shoulder is right here. You want to lift out and feel that connection in your oblique. So lift out and then make sure you're, you're straight. Okay. That's piece number one of a side oblique, um, or a side plank. <clears throat> you want to be lifting out of here and lifting out of your shoulder. You don't want to be here. Okay. Very important to be here. And you might be able to slide that back a little bit. And then keeping that straight. Okay. So we're just going to do the same movement with your core, the zipping. Okay. So inhaling, releasing everything, feeling your pelvic floor literally release. And then on the exhale, we're not going to move. We're literally just going to not move. And we're just going to breathe here. Okay. So you're going to inhale, exhale, zipping, closing at the top of those ribs. And you should be feeling all of that tightness, right? Feeling that you want to make sure this isn't jacked up either down your back. Inhale and then exhale. Once you feel you have that connection, you're going to inhale and on the exhale, you can come up. Okay. Making sure you're not sliding here or sliding here. You're literally keeping your hips stable. You are not moving your hips. Okay. Pretend you have a, a pole <laughs> through you and you can't move side to side. You literally can only move up and down. Okay. So you should really be feeling that here and here. So you're going to inhale 
exhale and lift, okay? Using this to lift, not so much your arm or your legs, but you're literally using your core to lift, okay? And down, inhaling. We're gonna do two more of those, and then the same as the breath, you're gonna hold this and only inhale through here while you stay at the top, okay? So inhale, exhale. You should be, and this, I'm struggling. I do this, I've been doing this for years, and guys, I still, when I'm so focused, I can feel that burn, and I can feel that connection, and down. Okay, now we're gonna stay at the top, Holding it here, inhaling, exhaling, and going down and down. Inhaling, and up. Inhaling, and up, but keeping that connection here and just breathing here. Inhale, up. One more. Yes, and release. I mean, do you feel that? Do you feel the difference? You truly should feel the difference. Then you can swap and do that on the other side on the other side, <laughs> on the other side. The last one that <laughs> I don't know why I keep messing up that word, cut. Okay, editor, this is for you. I don't have an editor. I'm literally just pretending I do. <laughs> so the next one I wanna do is a bird dog because this is very common also. So <clears throat> you're gonna come back and you're going to, so reminding yourself, shoulders down the back, coming up you want to keep that neutral okay that neutral a slight plug right here a slight connection in that lower abs feeling those two hip bones closing that pelvic floor is lifted slightly okay so this is just another very common variation which is why I'm showing it because it's done incorrectly across the board and and I and I'm not saying that like to point fingers to people. It's just if you don't if you don't know if you haven't learned the anatomy the way that I have learned the anatomy. Um, it it just you know if if you don't know you don't know right. Okay, so I'm gonna be here, and you can put your leg out and your hand out. And if this feels too unsteady for you, keep your hand here. Okay, but when you, as soon as you put that leg out, your hip is gonna want to go like this. You want to keep both those hip bones pointed to the ground. This is going to be in the 90 degree angle, okay? When you come up, you don't want to be here. This is what I see a lot, okay? You want to be so connected, so you're going to inhale and then exhale, connect. As you exhale, you're going to lift that leg. You are literally using your glute muscle right here. You are squeezing that baby so damn tight right there. Your little fat area where your butt cheek meets your thigh. You are squeezing and down. Okay. It might be small and down and up. Okay. So you're inhaling on the way down, exhaling on the way up, inhaling. And if you're going to add the arm, it would look like this. It's small, you guys. Mine is small because I am squeezing my glute so hard and I am not moving my hips, okay? If you notice, my hips are so square, okay? You can try to lengthen your leg. My hamstrings are very tight. See how, how small that movement is? And you should be burning. Your cheek should be burning, okay? So it's really important. I'm just going to show you on the other side. <clears throat> So hands down, out, making sure you're connected, neutral here, inhaling, exhaling, and I'm hitting my, my flower pot, exhaling. And you might have a larger range of motion on the other side, totally normal, okay, completely normal. Might be easier for you to get your leg up there without but you literally on that move up you're not just like swinging you're literally squeezing on the way up resisting it down squeezing resisting squeezing and resisting and when you're squeezing your glute your core is firing and you're squeezing all of that together okay i hope that makes sense um <coughs> my goal is to pick a couple moves each week and really slow them down for you so do those three moves, watch the video, do the slow connection, 
and then you can go through and repeat it again. And I think people get hung up on like number of reps. Just go until you're like, oh, I can't go anymore. Like my, I feel my core burning. That's fine. Like, you know what I mean? If you do 10, cool. If you only do seven, cool. That's fine. If you do 12, cool. If you do 15, holy moly, you are on fire and you can really engage. Okay. But slower, even if you can start with five reps, that's great. If you slow, but slow the movement down and just connect to your core and visualizing that lifting of the pelvic floor, your hip bones are sliding together. If your hip bones are sliding, zipping, you're going to already feel that pelvic floor connection and then going middle of your belly button and then keeping those rib cages connected. Okay. It's really important to keep those connected. So you don't want to be flailing when you're breathing, it's lateral, but you're keeping them here. Okay. Over right directly over your hip bones. You have rib cage, you have hip bones, and you wanna inhale and connect that space in between, and you are gonna feel that connection, holy moly, and you are gonna be on fire, okay? So I hope that's helpful. Make sure to grab your journals. If you don't already, sign up for my list so you know when my first dibs on knowing when my book releases, so you can get your hands on that. And Black Friday sale right now, Ball of Bangles are on sale. Um, Make sure it's shopbala.com. I'll also put that link. But these are my favorites. My two pounds are like marble. And then my favorite blue color is my one pounds. But I use those all the time. I don't lift heavy weights anymore, you guys. This is all from literally lifting one pound and two pound weights. Okay, thanks for joining me. And I will see you next time. Peace.